back again with a guide for Awakened Vardorvis. In my opinion, this is the hardest Awakened fight, and I'm not going to guarantee this guide will get you the kill, but I will do my best to describe everything I'm doing to the best of my ability. So at the start of the fight, you'll want to wake Vardorvis up without a Void Waker spec, because it will null the damage if you do, and you'll only want to send one spec after you've woken him up. Uh, this is a guarantee that you have 100% spec back at the end of the fight and you're only going to swap back into your Void Waker if you get Vardorvis under 100 HP. It should guarantee that those two Void Waker specs finish the kill. Okay, so let's get plugins and settings out of the way. I'm using Better NPC Highlight to tag the axes and have the IDs shown on screen there. Uh, I'm also using Vardorvis projectiles, which is so good. It changes the mage and range attacks from the Vardorvis heads, just making them so much easier to see. Um, I've also got myself hidden, um, but still have myself uh, outlined. So um, I've got player highlighter downloaded, and I've got my settings there for that. And then I'm actually using entity hider to hide myself, which is an official rune light setting. Um, which I've got the settings on the right for that. I should also point out I've got low detail mode on which hides uh, the stairs around the edges and some of the rocks on the floor. Um, and before we unpause, my two most important tips. Um, one is I've moved my inventory slightly over to the left and two is the position of my camera, so camera angle and the fact I've moved my invent. Um, just these things combined means my mage prey, my range prey, and the tiles that I'm clicking to skip on are all very close to each other, and just reducing mouse travel distance and also in effect reducing the travel distance your eyes are moving um, makes the kill a lot easier so I highly recommend doing this and uh, to move your inventory you'll want to hold alt um, and then you can just drag it into position and uh, if you right click your inventory with alt held down it will reset it back into its original position Okay, so from 100% till 50%, the fight is almost identical to the enraged normal version of Vardorvis, um, with the one difference being that you sometimes will be praying mage instead of range for one of the heads. Okay, so the purple tile I am using to skip the axes. I always try and force myself to use this tile and not the tile one south of it closer to the pillar um, to keep the position of Vardor this where he is now. As if I was to step one south of that purple tile for a skip and then go back up to the green tile or orange tile, Vardor this would end up on top of me and I would be waiting to attack him or I'd accidentally attack him early and drag myself into a, a weird position. So if you can, try and avoid anything other than the purple tile when skipping that axe. Okay, so as well as using the purple tile, you'll also want to always keep yourself on the green tile and then use the orange tile, like there, to dodge the spike attack. Um, if you're standing on the orange tile, um, you'll find it really difficult to dodge the spikes, but if you're always standing on the green tile, you should always be able to, just like here again, dodge down um, to the orange tile uh, to skip the spikes. So try and avoid being on that orange tile unless you are skipping spikes. If you have a Soul Reaper axe, um, keep the Mighty Stacks at 5 and do not click the button. Do not use the hill. Um, it is not worth to start taking the chip damage again. It always ends up just working out worse for you. Um, yes, just use all of your own supplies in your inventory for healing. And for anyone that doesn't have a Soul Reaper Axe, don't worry, it's definitely not required. Um, I'm not using the healing effect from it here because I think that it's worse if you do. 
and I've also got a friend that has a personal best that is one minute faster than the kill done in this guide using just a fang so it's definitely not a requirement. So we are under 50% now and um, anytime you have a head attack it's going to be both heads, the mage and the ranged one in a random order and then going under 25% those head attacks become a lot more frequent. Okay so under 50% here. This is probably in my opinion the hardest piece of content in the game right now. Um, you really need to focus on mainly dodging the axes. They've got the highest max and the highest KO potential. They can max 96 on you if you're not praying melee at the time that they go through you. Um, any, if you do make a mistake, just triple E. Triple E and dodge an axe. I tell myself that I will lose all of the ticks in the world if it means that I'll dodge an axe correctly and pray for the heads correctly. I'm not thinking about where the boss is, I'm not looking at the boss, I am so focused on dodging those axes and the only advice that I can give on top of that, um, as well as you know moving your inventory, camera angles and stuff, is if you are still really struggling is to go into a normal Vardorvis, get him under 25% HP, stop attacking him and try and dodge axes, skip axes correctly and pray for just the range heads in the normal enraged for you know like five minutes or so and you know just get yourself used to that and comfortable to th uh, with that and that should help um, in the long run for giving awakened attempts. Um, I just want to say as well, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe how many of you actually clicked the button recently. That's mad. Um, but if you do like the content that I'm putting out and you didn't click it yet, then please do click the like and the subscribe button. And um, you should see an Awakened Leviathan guide from me soon.